Welcome back to the channel guys, welcome back. So, and this week I'm gonna be painting the bike, finally. I was waiting on uh, the decals so I could paint it uh, because I want a clear coat over them so they don't get scratched up or look faded. Um, everything's laid out, took a while to do that, you'll see why. Um, Frank's gonna put on um, a ground coat for it, a base coat, uh, because we wanna get even coverage on the color because this bike is in uh, light blue, white, and the dark blue. And to try and cover them evenly with just the regular paint is gonna take too much paint. We had uh, Narda, Frank, we had Narda Gray, so we're gonna use that as a base coat for everything, and then we're gonna put the color on top of it. So this way, when I put two coats of the color on top of it, we're gonna get an even look all over the bike you know i don't want peace well this one turned a little bit darker nope put the ground coat on first and then we'll put our color on and we sh everything should look good i'm just we're just gonna wipe everything down and um start painting let's go everything is all taped up what needs to be taped up and laid out uh, piece by piece to give um the painter man enough room so he can get a good coat on everything and trust me, it took a while to get all these things arranged, you know, all this wood so I can uh, have everything propped up nicely. Because, like I said, I want this thing to turn out good. I'm not going to spend all this time, energy, and money to do this, and then it, can't, it comes out shitty. So, yes sir, we're going to take our time and do everything. Oh, and the one last piece over here. Now, just can't wait to get this stuff painted and reassembled. As he would tell you, this is one of the most important steps he's doing right here. Preparation, right Frank? Mm-hmm. Oh no. <laughs> I'm not even gonna go there. Because if you don't wipe this top down and get all the little icky fingerprints that Frank left on there, I'm not saying which Frank, I'll let know one of the Frank left icky fingerprints on there. I look like I can leave fingerprints. <laughs> Before the gloves. Okay, I'm sure you were wearing gloves every time you were working on this. Like I was saying, we gotta get all those greasy fingerprints off of there and anything else that's on there because if you don't clean it properly, Frank's gonna be repainting again. No. Frank's gonna be polishing. Camera Frank. <laughs> Either way, a Frank's gonna be doing something again that they don't wanna be doing. So it's gonna take a while just to clean everything up and uh, get it prepped because we do it right around here. We only wanna do it once. You know, I'm not gonna say, uh huh. I said, all right, no, what would you say? Oh, you're talking to me? No, who else would I be talking to? Oh, no, I always My do it. No, I always do it right. That's why I didn't answer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay then, Mr. Perfect. And my no, apologies. No, 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 not Mr. Perfect. <laughs> it's just what I do. Uh, true that, true that. He does do it right. Finally, he does something right. Yeah. <laughs> This is Dardo Gray, and I can use this color. But I got something else in mind. But the, the ground coat is on and everything. And now, Mr. Man is getting ready to put the real color on. Is that on? I can, yeah, it kicks in and kicks out. Okay. From this far up, you won't be able to, maybe you might be able to tell. Look at this piece, you can see all the fur in it. That's what I'm talking about. Now we're just gonna do two coats and everything. When I say we, I mean, Frank is gonna do the cool coat on
paint is done and I screw it up. So we put on the, the paint, it looks great. One, there's two pieces, I saw only two specks. One was a fly, we took it out, painted over, you couldn't tell it was there. The other piece was on the front nose, nobody saw it, but you, it's a garage, you're gonna expect dirt. But that was it for the entire thing. Then we decided to put a clear coat on, and uh, silly me here. So on my air system, I have um, a air dryer, sorry, air filter, a regulator, an air filter, and then an air dryer and that's the one I was supposed to plug the hose in but I only plugged it in the first one so it went to one dry and then when you're putting the clear coat on this thing starting spitting water it's scratching the head and went what, what the hell is going on and then I'm messing around keep draining the tank and like there's nothing in the box going on turns out I didn't plug my airline into the last one with the air filter and air dryer in it so now we have a little water a lot of water drops in the paint so now we're gonna have to sand this down with 800 or 1000. Put some more clay coat on. I have to go get more clay coat because we ran out. We only had enough to do two coats. So I'm gonna get another can and we're gonna put uh, more clay coat on after we sand it down to get rid of these little water droplets. Because Buffanello won't get it out. So we're gonna sand it down and try not to go through the color. And we're gonna put another one, another two coats on. But for now, I'll show you what it looks like and I'll show you all the little water droplets in there. Piss me right off because this thing turned out so good. But let me show you. Color turned out nice. I can't see much here. Everything looks good. This piece here looks really good. This piece actually came out really good. I'm never gonna even mess with that one. But you guys can see all the pimples in there. You see all those? Look at all of that. And trust me, it's a, in person it's worse. And there's some in the tank, but not too much. But this is gonna be right here. Uh, you can see them here. I hope you guys can, oh, you can see that. Look how good that thing turned out with the gold on it, man. Just look at that. But they're all over, you can see that. And that's from water from the tank. I mean, this piece here is just not sorry. This is just, uh, something that fell on there, but you can see them all in there look at that so yeah we're gonna sand this down and repaint it and this i mean if anyone can recognize that's for my new car to the channel coming up uh more about that later um this piece was the only dirt nib that was in there but oh look at this pink lid bastard huh now you see what I'm talking about. So no, I'm not happy with that. I will never be happy with that. So I'm gonna sand it down, get some more clear coat, put on there, get rid of all these other things on there because we, we went through a lot of time. You see, you see how this stuff is held on to here, right? With all the pieces of wood. You see all that wood there that I have cut all this. It took time to do all of that and each piece it. It took a lot of time. Now, um, yeah, like I said, I'm just gonna get this stuff and put on there. It's gonna look the same when it's done but without the little pimples in it. And I gotta get it done ASAP because I wanna get it done, get the bike put back together because I just, I need it out so I can work on other stuff. And with it taking up half the stuff and so much clips and screws and bolts and you name it, I gotta get this thing back together before I forget how to put it back together. So the next video will be the wrap up of this bike series. It's done, it's gonna be time to ride. So just stay tuned for that one. And then I have a project car, my new car. Oops, say too much. Um, coming up uh, so remember to stay tuned if you like what you see and I know you guys like what you see but you gotta give it a thumbs up because for the new project we're gonna need a lot of thumbs up we're gonna need a lot of share likes you name it it might take a long time but I'm not gonna get into that now let's finish the bike first you like what you see thumbs up share like comment all that great stuff uh, you got any questions reach out to me I gladly answer them and please don't tell me what to do with my stuff people keep telling me oh you why didn't you do this you should have done that dude it's my car ladies whatever it's my car my bike I can do what I want I watch other videos that I don't like what they do I leave it I don't even give it a thumbs down I just leave it alone don't say anything I'm like huh well it's his thing I wouldn't personally do it guys I'm doing this for fun I love making the videos I'm gonna mod this stuff anyway so I might as well make some videos to see make people see it but don't tell me you should have done this. Why did it? Okay. All right. Great. Now, that's it for now. So, 
Later.